you going? It's Brad Shepard here from Create PT Wealth. We're here today with another one of our Create PT Wealth business building tips. Now, my first my question to you for today's business building tip is how much do you charge? Because <laughs> that's often the question that many new prospects or many new potential clients will ask. If they call up on the phone or if they tap you on the shoulder uh, at the gym at the water cooler or if they speak to you at a party, oh, you're a personal trainer, are you? Usually the first question will be, how much do you charge? Now, why do people ask that question? How much do you charge? The answer is, is that they have absolutely no idea what else to ask. They've got no clue. Does anyone you ever rock up to and say, look, I'm, I'm just inquiring to find out, you know, whether you're gonna do single arm inverted pull supersetted with jumping lunges on a Tabata timing format? It doesn't usually happen like that. What the reason people ask it is they've got absolutely no clue what personal trainers do. To many clients out there, many of your future clients, they see personal trainers as all the same. And they know that, hey, you're just these sort of, you know, energetic, you know, smiling, motivated type of people that, that, you know, exercise and you're into all that sort of stuff. But pretty much that's the extent of it. So when someone asks you that question, my response would be, you need to try and find out a little bit more because if you're going to answer that question, and they say, how much do you charge? And you go, oh, well, it's, um, you know, it's $60. At that point in time, it's usually end of conversation where they'll either say, uh, look, thanks very much, I'll think about it, or possibly, thanks very much, I'll, um, you know, I'll possibly call you back, clunk, hang up the phone. So in that process, money's just walked out the door. You've potentially lost a sale. Because what can happen, as soon as we start talking price straight up, people can start making decisions based on price alone. So you wanna absolutely remove the price from it. And you wanna start moving people towards value because people will purchase on value. So it's all about the value that you build into the service that you offer. So have a think about it. Have a think about the process. Have a think about the amount of times that you might have given that price out straight up. Given it out over the phone, just blurted it out with somebody and then the conversation's ended and they haven't turned into a client. How much potential money's walked out that door? Have a think about that. Have a think about the next time that someone asks it, how do you structure it differently? It's Brad Shepard here. Um, great to see you and um, look forward to next time. Bye-bye.